Blue Demons, including an A's face. Nice speed. Oh, what a thunderous. If they're going to win games to score enough points. Richmond, the lob. Gets in the finish. Just normal O. Two team walk up. Oh, exclamation. The inbound to Richmond. And the three for Harris. Rattles one for 12 from deep. Can't settle here. And they won't. Jackson spins it through. Jackson. Some numbers for the Pirates. Jackson gets it back. Athletic. Jackson's attempted 14 of them this season. That's another block from behind. Good hustle. By Fewest points in that any half this season. Here's a steal. Jackson. Showtime. Boom. Deep hey, one. Geez. Harris. Oh, oh look out. Miles K. Feeds outside. Extra pass for Jackson. Fancy dribbling. Nice oh, what a fine. Standing with the three ball. Yeah, just needs more opportunities. More reps. Special player, both ends of the floor. Seaton Hall continues to struggle from deep. Muhammad on the attack. Oh, he's rejected. Thank you. Does a little more of his Now five on the shot clock. And Aiken confused now with two. Jackson. And the last moment. Around the arc it goes. And there's Trey Jackson. A tray for one of those two in my dreams at night. Is in a bad situation, I think it's going to be the blob in the corner. James Harden beard going. <laughs> Seton Hall winning the title. Jackson again from deep. Man. Man. Jackson, he's already hit three. Correction. Two missed opportunities. Some of the untimely turnovers. Top of the arc. And that one drops down. Well, they have been scouted well. Jameer Harris. No, but the putback. Yes. For played well. Those are the Look questions, and now another steal. Trey Jackson, showtime for the Hall. And it's usually the corner should be open if you keep moving it. There you go. Alley -oop. On the baseline. 11 points for Joe French. All on the other baseline. Man. Changed by Kevin Lewin to put Yetna in the game against Nixon. Jackson for the lead. From Kadari Richmond. It's important you have your guards come back in and help on the glass. There's his. Georgetown, 37% from downtown. Seton Hall, 38. Jackson. Smith is in for Alexander in the St. John's lineup. Jackson teed up for three. Wow, what a hit! And an offensive rebound hauled down by Trey Jackson in the second chance. Well, these guys are getting the extra year. The ability to... Uh, tough Campbell to open it up like that. Great work on it, but you might have to at some point. Richmond penetrates and kicks. Here's Jackson for his second three. Three point game in this one as you move under the three minute mark of the first half. Into the baseline goes Jackson, who's got to keep it in striking distance after Michigan opened the half on an 8 1 run. Here's Trey Jackson, had a big first half. His first points of the second. They share it, and Jackson responds with a three. It's, it's amazing when, when you're out big and you, know, you turn the ball over. It always. Drive inside with a left hand and a great start for wanting Seton Hall to move the ball more. That's one thing that Kevin Willard said was a positive of having a full week of practice. Mm -hmm. As you see it. Harris gets it over to Jackson. Pretty Whoa, left hander. Yeah, probably not necessarily NBA players, but it may be oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Outstanding coach. Here's Harris. Shot clock is at five. Jackson. Shot clock at two. Jackson to the basket. Off the glass. He switched hands at the last. Well, I just think the highest of Gonzaga and the fact Mark Few's not afraid of anybody from Jackson and down in pain is Ken. Harris. Cannot hit, but just Jackson comes up with the board. Good drive, just quick on the shot. Now the give off to Jackson from Richmond. We hope to have those two back. We'll need all hands on deck against number seven Texas this week as Jackson rings it. We've seen some fast breaks in this second half, but not many in the last 10 minutes, which is, you know, you don't want to run it up for sure. Trey came in 18 days for Wagner. They've just got to be thrilled to be playing somebody. 
Jackson smooth from the top. Goes right out of sink right now. And the turnover. Is it a break? Bounce it ahead. Jackson up and under. He is great. Gets it up. Obiak has got to be careful. He's already got it. Goes on the ice in here. Rhodes split of the double team over to Jackson for three. Seen a pretty clean game to this point at the Rock. For the record, I don't really agree with that. If a coach wants to pump up his own crowd, I'm and comes up short. Offensive rebound going to Seton Hall. Jackson gets it away. Road had a steam into the front court. Jackson a three. Self-inflicted wounds and empty possessions. Jackson against UConn. Last week, now Jackson playing tough at size, shows it. Left hand, little finger roll, goes down. McDermott's one of those guys that are in the upper echelon, not just up the Big East, but in the country. There's the lefty Woo! with the sweet stress. Faking guys, stepping back. Mid-range jumpers. Now Trey Jackson. Six of their last nine shots. Seton Hall's made their last three. Jackson again. And and the last Mark Biggie Jackson later lead yeah, Last Big East game. Jackson hit a huge three. And there's another. Richmond. There's Jackson. A deep three. And he hits. NZ trying to force some action. The officials letting it play. Jackson also checking in a drive. And Richmond not to be offensive rebound. Put that good. Related with injury, happy to see him back on the floor if you're a UConn fan. Jackson, kind of turnovers committed by both, but the opportunistic defenses are really the foundations of these teams. Jackson, trying to challenge Obiago. I was going to say, be careful. <laughs> Jackson, get a layup. Look out. Here's Harris. Broden. We close down on the baseline. Trey Jackson cashes in. And now Watson is in pain, lifting back to the other end of the floor. Jackson hits it.